All right, uh, here's my next vid. Um, what I'm going to show is uh, current draw on this. Uh, I got it focused in. My camera pre-focuses before I start. I don't know. I, I got to figure it out how to focus. But um, it's a current draw. We don't have the battery in yet. We're going to get it spun up. And these reeds, they have resonant spots in them uh, where it's going to be higher and lower. What I need to do is set up uh, set up a pulse motor on this to get this thing going so I don't have to move it. Alright. Uh, we got nothing. Oh. Okay. Get that read real close there. But this is the current draw. Now we get a certain speed, like here, we're 180 milliamps. We start going faster. A little bit less. So that just means this is pulsing less or more. Uh, pulse width. Let me see the read there. I got it in kind of macro here so we can look at stuff. But, uh, okay. So she could be anywhere from 500 milliamps down to 100 milliamps. Um, let's pull this out. Battery, let's put this back. Okay, uh, this is just a, a thousand microfarad cap. I just put it on this side of the wire so it have more effect on this instead of having a resistance of all these connections. Um, now over here, let's switch this meter before I forget. Get rid of these. Pop these in here. Now this is the, the latest configuration that I had before where the magnets just meet up with the edge here. Um, that means no overlap. So I guess the flux field, that's where it's coming out. So it has a chance to bend around and go to this core. Um, if I have it inside more, if I use less and it's inside, it would have even a better chance. Um, but what we want to do is get it at least around the outside of that green uh, pickup coil inside here. Um, let's see if we can see it. No, it's hard to see with this light. I got my old light back. I'm happy about that. My videos have looked like fog. Um, Kitty likes this light, so I, while it was cold, I put it on the end table and she likes the heat. Alright, um, over here I added, this is a thousand microfarad, this is uh, 250, I don't even need that. Uh, and I got a 100 ohm resistor on the output. So what we're going to do is measure uh, how much continuous current we're producing into this 100 ohm resistor. Let's get this spun up. Sorry about how the focus is. It's camera's weird. I gotta I gotta look it up in the book to see what's up with it. Get it spun up really good. Put the battery in.
1.6 volts. We can get it one particular time. I guess we have to have two meters to see uh, when current draw is happening and when it's not. 1.6 volts across a 100 ohm resistor. So now we begin our journey. Brown, black, brown. Alright guys, that's it.